These examples highlight various ways in which presidents have been accused of leveraging or attempting to leverage governmental institutions for their own ends, whether to target political adversaries, influence policy, or shape public perception. Indeed, throughout history, there have been instances where political leaders have attempted to use government institutions for personal or political gain. Here are several examples across different administrations. These examples illustrate how institutions can become tools in political struggles, often leading to controversy and public distrust. It's important to note that these situations are complex and often involve a mix of motivations, not all of which are purely self-serving or partisan. Richard Nixon, Republican, and the FBI. During the Watergate scandal, Nixon's administration was accused of using the FBI to investigate political opponents and suppress dissent. Ronald Reagan, Republican, and the CIA. The Iran-Contra affair is a notable example where members of the Reagan administration used the CIA to secretly sell arms to Iran in exchange for hostages and then funneled the profits to Contras in Nicaragua, circumventing Congress. George W. Bush, Republican, and the United Nations. Bush administration officials were criticized for attempting to build support for the 2003 invasion of Iraq through the United Nations, sometimes employing aggressive tactics and making claims about Iraqi weapons of mass destruction that were later proven false. Barack Obama, Democrat, and the IRS. Although not unique to Republicans, Accusations were made that the IRS under Obama targeted conservative groups for additional scrutiny when they applied for tax-exempt status. Donald Trump, Republican, and the DOJ. Trump repeatedly attacked the integrity of the Department of Justice, DOJ, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. He wanted to replace key staff within the DOJ to influence ongoing investigations, particularly those involving his associates and the Russia investigation led by special counsel Robert Mueller. Trump and the intelligence agencies. Trump expressed skepticism about the conclusions of multiple intelligence agencies regarding Russian interference in the 2016 election leading to concerns about undermining the credibility and independence of these institutions. Trump and the military. There were concerns about the politicization of the military during the Trump presidency, especially when military personnel were involved in domestic law enforcement actions, such as during protests in Washington DC Trump and the Postal Service. In 2020, there were allegations that changes at the US Postal Service including the removal of mail sorting machines and mailboxes, were politically motivated to suppress mail-in voting ahead of the presidential election. Trump and the CDC. During the COVID-19 pandemic, there were reports of political interference in the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, with the Trump administration influencing guidelines and data releases. George W. Bush, Republican, and the claim of a new world order. While not directly related to the weaponization of an institution, Bush's mention of a new world order in 1991 was interpreted by some as an attempt to frame a post-Cold War global strategy, which critics argued could be used to justify US interventions abroad. What do you think, Anons? Does this seem like a pattern to you? It sure does to us. Like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below. What you think about politicians weaponizing institutions. Until next time I am your pal Tuxedo Mask.